So Black Myth Wukong, y'all, has been another game that is being delayed specifically for the Xbox Series X and as due to quality issues. However, the game remains on schedule for release on August 20th for PC and PlayStation 5. Now, the delay for Xbox was announced during the Summer Game Fest 2024 festivities, and the developer Game Science cited the need for additional time to quote unquote ensure the game meets their quality standards. Now, despite the delay, the game's highly anticipated, boasting a lengthy playtime and diverse enemy types. It's just yet another game in a long list of titles that either don't make it to Xbox at all or seen such delays as we're going to discuss today. What I want to do is take the time to examine what is the most likely culprit. That damn Xbox Series S potato. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K of Geeks. Or not digital culture. MM2K Gaming, Cloud Dosage, and more back again with another video. I hate making these videos. I know you guys think I love crapping on Xbox, but that's not the case, man. I hate to see gamers not get their just due. But before we get into all that, do us a huge favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know that we are popping. All right, so here, here's what's going on. Uh, Black Myth Wukong, a heavily anticipated game, like a game that has been on my radar, you know what I'm saying, since the moment that it was launched. Uh, it appears that the game will not be day one on Xbox like other said games like Baldur's Gate 3 or whatever. So Xbox gamers got to miss out on these heavily anticipated titles. Now we heard earlier in the year that we had reporters, um, particularly those from GameIndustry.biz that went and talked to developers outside of the US. And they spoke Handedly about they don't even understand why they're supporting the Xbox Series consoles anymore. They're, they're questioning it. And when it comes to the Asian markets, you know, those markets are more in tune with PlayStation um, already. So the Xbox consoles have a very hard hill to climb outside of the U.S. already. And now that you're having this series. Um, X and S consoles being left out on games such as Wukong that is, you know, starting to really pull Chinese developers into the global stage. It's only going to get worse for Xbox. Um, I can see why that there are rumors that are ramping up and Phil Spencer himself is talking about, uh, you know, he wants to open up to, to the Steam store and to Epic Game Store and, and hence towards a more open platform when it comes to the console. But even at that, we still got several years that we got to deal with this console holding back games. We just had the Kingdom Come Deliverance the developers who are very friendly to Xbox admit that, hey, we had to hold back our ambition for this game. We could only make it 25% bigger than the game that came out several years ago last generation because we had to we had to consider the Series S. The Series S, codenamed the Lockhart during development, was said to have been turned away by many developers who said, look, you put this thing out here, you're gonna make development worse for us, and we're just gonna simply scale up from the Series S to make games for the X. Microsoft backed away from the plans for Lockhart slash the Series S, but then after they saw that xCloud wasn't going to live up to what they wanted it to be um, at launch. They went back to the Series S. And now the rest is <laughs> a pain aching history. Look, let's just go over the game of the stuff that's happened and then we're going to talk about it on the back end. Uh, I want to first and foremost show you guys this. So to my surprise, I was on Twitter I saw the grumblings about this being a PlayStation exclusive. And I said, hold on, how was that even possible? So I went to the uh, game's webpage 
and I looked here and I didn't see any indications for the pre-order. I didn't see any Xbox logo or anything there. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Is this a mistake? Only to find out via a retweet from Reforge, shout out to Reforge Gaming, that uh, quote, Black Myth Wukong will come to Xbox when it meets their quality standards. And this is what they had to say. This is the PC and the PlayStation 5 users can enjoy the full game starting August 20th. We are currently optimizing the Xbox Series X and S version to meet our quality standards so it won't release simultaneously with other platforms. We apologize for the delay and aim to minimize the wait for Xbox users. And then this is an article from GameSpot where it says Black Myth Wukong delayed, but only on one platform. This is making the rounds, folks. People are talking about this. They're like, what is going on here? And they're like, how bad was this Series S lie? These are my thoughts on this. Uh, this is my conclusion. Look, Phil Spencer is the one that was brought into the situation with the Xbox One generation. There you can have a little bit of sympathy for him because... It wasn't he, it wasn't his decision to make the Xbox One with the S East Ram, which we knew was the bottleneck that time around. And that's why, you know, on paper, not so much in result, but on paper, the Xbox One was falling behind the PlayStation 4 when it came to digital foundry analysis and other analysis, stuff like that. On paper, it was weaker, even though to the to the naked eye, there wasn't much difference that you could notice, right? But still, it was enough on paper for people to say hold on you want us to pay the same price for this but we're getting more in output from this so it was enough to cause them heartache and then when he tried to develop the xbox one x which was their powerful mid-gen refresh he was still hamstrung because they couldn't make it to where it was you know separated from that east ram problem even though it didn't have it in there they had to make it to where your Xbox One games would still work in the in the Xbox One X. So that's understandable. He was hamstrung by a decision that he didn't make himself. But this time around, knowing the heartache of having lesser hardware hamstring your more powerful hardware, you replicate what happened last gen. And as a result, you are seeing less console sales than the 360 at the same time from launch. And that is an incredibly low feat because it took years for the Xbox 360 to propel amongst gamers. It came out first, had an edge because it came out a year early, but still people were a little leery. They were used to their PlayStations for several generations. And now all of a sudden um, this this Xbox comes in and, and, and people are talking about it. People were watching. They were still suspicious of it. But after like that fourth year or so, then that's when the um, Xbox 360 started to propel. So it's only going to get worse. If they're trailing behind the 360 during the period where consumers still didn't trust it, then you, you could argue that next to the OG Xbox, which was the entry console, this is probably going to be the worst selling Xbox of all time next to that one. And again, there was an excuse for that one. That console was just getting into the arena and they had to get their sea legs in order to, to compete with the mighty PlayStation. What's the excuse this time around? This is like your fourth console generation. And I don't want to hear about PC. I don't want to hear about cloud because they are not closing the gap there. They went and bought Activision Blizzard, which was a substantial seven to eight billion dollars in additional revenue, and they are still behind PlayStation. Look, man, uh, there's a saying that I live by when it comes to this corporate stuff. I, I, I hold people accountable because that's how I keep my lights on for the last three decades. Look, there's a saying that we go by fish rots from the head. Phil Spencer, who saw what having the lesser hardware will do to your stronger hardware and your saturation in the market replicated something that he already saw fail. And now gaming as an entirety is suffering from it. There was somebody, uh, a content creator, I want to throw their name out there because I, I you know, I, I don't, I don't want to do that to people, but they had said something to 
to the effects that Xbox messed up gaming. Xbox had, you know, didn't really do anything for gaming and, and they really messed up gaming. And I don't agree with that assessment for what Xbox was doing with the 360 and prior. But when it comes to the Xbox One, there are no notable accomplishments. There are no innovations that the Xbox One ex- inspired. And you could feasibly argue that they're right about d- definitely the Xbox Series X and Series S. Like, it's actually holding back gaming, as we're seeing with Kingdom Come Deliverance and other testimonies from other developers and publishers um, because of code name, quote unquote, Lockhart. This is just another chink in the armor of Phil Spencer. That's even if the armor is still attached and still on. I I don't know. He says a lot of tantalizing stuff that could make Xbox gaming, you know, interesting in the future, but I just don't trust it. The fish rots from the head. And I think Xbox, Microsoft, and even the gaming community is going to have to look at how they view Phil Spencer, put him on such a pedestal. This was a horrible decision and it's ruining gaming for Xbox consumers and even become a hampering point for gamers across the board. With that said, that's it from your boy. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. They will lead you to Geeks, Hard Knock Digital Culture, Cloud Dosage, and here, MM2K Gaming. With that said, peace. Have a wonderful gaming day.